Happening today, President Joe Biden heads to Baltimore to tour the damage of the collapsed bridge. The president is expected in the next hour. The wreckage is still scattered in this shipping channel, and the massive container ship Dali is still stuck in place after it hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge last week. The president promises federal resources to deal with what happens next. The work on this project is difficult and slow. Maryland's governor has used computer imaging and sonar scans to describe what those recovery crews are up against, even sharing audio feeds from the dive teams operating with almost no visibility. Just a couple inches beyond my fingertips. The collapse of the bridge is so distinct and so severe with the metal that is so disconfigured and so brought together and pancaked that it continues to make this mission extraordinarily complicated and dangerous for those who are conducting it. The White House is stressing the need to reopen the port. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers expects to open some of it by the end of the month with full access, hopefully by the end of May.